Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Janet, the Journal Keeper. Welcome back if you've been before and if this is your first visit to my channel, welcome again. And uh, I hope you'll like what you see and consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up because that does help. And uh, also pressing the little bell which will... Um, you will then be notified when I upload a new video, which is about once a week. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a bit croaky this morning. <coughs> uh, at the moment, we're working on a Halloween project. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, the link is in the description box. Um, it's made out of Tim Holtz mini folders which we're decorating. Um, the only thing I've done off camera since last week was to put some backing papers on the pages that we hadn't decorated. Um, I have done a pocket here. This was embossing folder numbers which, with some, um, I did it on black card with some foundry wax and that's one of the backdrop papers um, the rest we had already done on camera I don't think I did anything else except I added a little bit more decoration along here and I thought this look um, belly band looked a bit plain so I added um, these two little guys with some <laughs> wings and masks and put a little card in, made a little journal card to fit in there. <coughs> you may remember, if you saw last week's, you'll know that I talked about how I wasn't quite sure how I was going to sew these together. I had just planned to put them one inside the other and, and sew them. Although I'd seen a video where someone had said that wasn't very easy. Um, I don't know if it was because of all the you know, all the, um, the things you put in, you know, that causes it to sort of not come together properly. Or if it was just going through the card, because it is quite a thick card. But I have found a possibility. I just happened to be looking on Susie Heinz's uh, YouTube channel. And I was looking at a, uh, well, it, was, it happened to be a Halloween one. And she had done this interesting method of binding, which I might be able to do with this. So I made a mock-up of it. Very much a mock-up. So what she had done was cut the pages in half. Obviously, in this case, it would be cutting the folder in half. And then she had taken a piece of probably canvas. I just used some calico for this and sewed it down each side like that and then you would obviously layer these then your pages and just have to sew through the canvas or whatever you used and the only sort of the strongest thing would be the cover so and also she left a lip here where she actually attached more things to as well so, um, yeah, so I might try that. I think I had a better lip there. Yeah. So she had to sort of attach things to these here. So I've made some strips that I've sewn together. And um, so I think I'm going to give that a go. I'll put a link to, if anybody wants to look at this, I'll put a link to the actual, um, it, there is isn't actually a picture of her doing the binding, but there is a picture of the video where you can get the idea. Okay, so I thought we would start today's by um, doing some collage on the inside of the cover, which I put some um, inked cards that I'd done. So I've got some bits um, ready 
this is really kind of a cute thing. I got this from Lady Black Blood on Etsy. Bit of a scary name. Um, I'm sure she's not a scary person. <laughs> But um, this is just a little notepad that fits in there. And it's like a really old typewriter. I thought that was quite cute. So I've got that to do for one. And then just some collage bits for the other side. All right. It's a bit chilly this morning. It's quite early. I'm just um, down in my studio. I've got the heater on for the first time ever i don't think i'll need it on for long but just to take the chill off in fact i will turn it off now because it might you might pick it up on the microphone because it's a bit noisy i hadn't thought of that sorry <laughs> if you could now you might hear the birds singing away. I'm going to just do this around the sides of the bottom so you could actually slip something down the back if you wanted to. Secret pocket. <clears throat> I can't glue that down now because you've got to pull that, you to pull that out. So. Just a collage of different bits and bobs of uh, Halloween related things.
Okay. <clears throat> we need something there. I'm not sure. We'll think about that as we go. Right. Let's pick up here. I've got this little booklet, sort of a tag booklet, which has little witchy things in. This again was from Lady Blackblood. I'm afraid to say her name. Honestly, it's so scary. I thought I would just fit this in to one of the pages here. Um, let's see. Well, put it in here, I think. Would it look better on there? I love this old, old fashioned picture. I don't know if you can see that. Old fashioned picture of uh, a tableau with obviously this girl hanging on a sitting on a broom with a. Let's see, I've got several different things actually. I've got one that's got some cobwebs on it somewhere. Yeah, maybe that one would be the good idea. Let's ink that up a little bit. I've already put a bit on there actually. <coughs> I rather like that as the front. We are the granddaughter of the witches you couldn't burn. Ooh. Oh, then that's... Hmm. Maybe we need to stick it in the middle. Oh, that one. And then you'd see that and that. Oh, I think I'm going to stick it that way. to re-stick those little pockets it's that one anyway <coughs> okay let's see I think I'll do my next page <coughs> got some things I made, a pumpkin, had one of the dies, and <coughs> a feather. Well, it is actually a feather die, but I thought I could turn that into sort of like foliage. And I made some, I did some more paper pimping, and um, stamped the paper with some uh, leaf stamps to make uh, some autumn leaves well, I thought we might do a little I've got some of my press leaf from my Acer we could put those in as well That actually really needs to be completely glued over, so I might do that elsewhere. <clears throat> okay, let's get the glue out. I mean, it's a bit of an autumn slash Halloween theme, this page, but I 
so that would be all right. Maybe something over there. Uh, let's see if we have. I've oh, been searching through all my transparents as well. Most of them are quite big. It's a bit too big to use on these pages. But it would take the whole page. Or it could be, if I do that other binding, and maybe I could attach one of those just on one of those lips of the material. <coughs> They're all the way too big. Little bat or something. I might have to. I don't think I've got any. I might have to um, cut some out. I think I've got a die with some bats. So I could uh, cut one out and put put some bats over there. That might work. Okay. So what have we got? We've got one, two, three pages left okay. <laughs> that I cut out for another journal. I was going to use that in here if I can find it. There it is. And a real creepy. That's a little bit big. Maybe move that make that a bit smaller.
Yeah, I quite like that. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it fit somewhere. Yes, it's better. Once we've um, finished decorating the pages, we'll make sure everything's, you know, um, got tags in it and journal cards and whatever else we need to finish it off. And I think what I'll do is have a go at doing that some um, binding, probably not on camera. Um, but then we'll do a flip through and you'll be able to see how it works out or doesn't. Well, as I say, sorry I ruined it. Or oh, it's worked. One of the two. Little skeleton tag. And go in there. We'll finish all those off. Ooh, um, that, that's okay. That's it. Okay. I like that. <laughs> okay, we might put something here as well. So no, we've got two pages here. Oh, that's a smaller. Oh, sorry. Okay. Right, let's see. I've got these two little uh, paper dolls I wanted to use. They look a very unhappy pair. I was in one of our local um, shops last weekend. Now, actually, I'm I'm um, recording this ahead, so um, by the time you watch it, it'll be probably into October. But they were actually getting Halloween, I mean, um, Christmas stuff out. Yeah. That's the trouble with recording.
recording ahead, you uh, never know whether to say anything because it's all—it's going to be wrong when it's, uh, it's not going. It's going to sound silly when you uh, actually have it available for viewing. To make it look like they were stepping out of the picture. I'll just stuck that down on the side and the bottom and then that could be a tuck spot under there since I've backed it with card that then could be made it a little bit stronger wanted to use this uh, here let's see no it can't be in it's got to be up there isn't it There's a transparent on him as well.
a bit of a mix. Notice a dictionary page here has got ghosts and things on it. I think it must have come out of a out of a um kit of some sort.
strengthen that, make it into a piece of paper, make a pocket out of it. through that. So we have got, is that the last page? No, we've got one more. Yeah, I think that's all the pages. We'll, we'll finish up, there's still some bits and bobs need doing, bits putting here and there. And um, we'll make cards and finish it up next week. Make cards and tags to finish it up. Then I'll have a go at the binding. And then we'll have a flip through, see how it turned out. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay well and safe. And I hope you'll come back again. Goodbye for now.